Whoa, I just saw the biggest susumebachi, Asian giant hornet I've ever seen. It's right down there. Ooh. I've got the, literally my skin is crawling right now, it was so big. I hear it, I hear it, there it is, there it is. Here it comes. Listen. There it goes. Did you see it? Holy Moses. I, I don't know if you got a glimpse of that. It took off across the canyon there. Wow. Uh, they, they definitely are different size size of these uh, susume bachi. That one was utterly immense. Uh, I didn't know they could ever get that big. It, uh, it's um, wings droned with a very deep hum. Oh my goodness. I'm, I was once, I'm once delighted that I could see it, but uh, uh, I'm very frightened that I would get close to it. That was really big. I just saw another interesting a wasp, the Ashinaga long legged wasp right there. Can you see it? Lying under there? I don't know if you can see it. Very long uh, legs. Ashi means legs and Nagai means long. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Stop for a second. Well, I, I seem to be having uh, more luck this morning describing the uh, wasps and hornets that I'm seeing than actually getting any of them on tape. The wildlife here in Japan is uh, startling sometimes in its diversity and its um, size. There's a, uh, an interesting phenomenon uh, in nature called um, uh, island dwarfism. And uh, these large uh, insects that I keep seeing uh, seem to defy that principle. Uh, island dwarfism is a phenomenon that seems to occur when animals are isolated on uh, islands. They seem to uh, get small over time. Uh, and uh, this, this is also true of humans as well. Human populations on islands seem to get small. And I, I, I don't remember, I'm, I'm pulling this, uh, this memory off the top of my head, um, and I don't have to remember the facts, but it seems to be a phenomenon that occurs. Now there are some notable examples of, of contrary occurring, such as the, Galop the giant Galapagos tortoise, of course, you'd think about the monitor lizard being another example, but in general, uh, animals on islands, including human beings, tend to get small when they're isolated for a long period of time. It's a very curious phenomenon. Now, this, <laughs> these, um, uh, this Asian giant hornet that I just saw that's got me rattled uh, certainly is a contrast to that. Well, there we go. Giant hornets and island dwarfism. It's a ran random rambling as I walk along. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.